Hello friends, welcome back to Formfully. In this video, we are covering articulation subtopic that is questioning techniques. Asking question effectively is crucial because it serves as the gateway to meaningful communication and information exchange. Here, why it's important to ask question effectively? First is gather accurate information. Effective questioning ensures that you obtain the right information you need to make informed decisions, solve problems, or understand situation better. By asking precise and relevant questions, you can avoid misunderstanding or misinterpretation that might occur with vague or poorly framed inquiries. Second is building rapport and relationships. Asking thoughtful questions demonstrate genuine interest and engagement in the conversation, which help foster trust and rapport between individuals. It shows that you value the other person's perspective and are willing to listen attentively, strengthening their relationship over time. And third is facilitating learning and growth. Well-crafted questions can stimulate critical thinking, encourage self-reflection, and promote learning and personal development. So next, we will see types of questioning techniques. First is open and closed questions. Closed questions, closed questions are straightforward and typically result in a yes or no response or a brief piece of information. These are useful for gathering specific and concise information. They are partic uh, particularly handy when you need a quick answer or when you want to confirm a fact. Okay. Then open questions. Open questions are encourage elaboration and deeper discussion. They invite the respondent to provide more information, express their thought, opinions or feelings and share their perspective. Open question foster engagement and enable a more comprehensive understanding of a topic or a situation. Next, we will see why open and closed questions are good for. So, open questions are good for developing an open conversation, finding out more details, finding out the other person's opinion or issues. Next is closed questions are good for testing your understanding or the other person's, uh, concluding a discussion or making a decision. And third is frame setting. Second is funnel questions. Funnel questions are a powerful tool for extracting detailed information and guiding a conversation towards specific point of interest. Here why they are effective. Gradual focus. By starting with broad general question and progressively narrowing down the focus, funnel questions help individuals recall details and mem memorize more effectively. This gradual approach allows the respondent to mentally revisit the situation and delve deeper down to their recollections, potentially uncovering valuable information that may have been overlooked initially. Second is engagement and rapport. Funnel questions demonstrate attentiveness and curiosity, signaling to respondent that their input is valued and prompting them to actively participate in the conversation. Third is enhanced problem solving. In investigative or problem solving context, funnel question can help unravel complex situation by uh, systematically exploring various facets and gathering uh, pertinent details by guiding the conversation from general observation to specific observation investigators can piece together a clearer understanding of events and identify potential leads or solution fourth and last is flexibility funnel questions allow questioning allows for uh, flexibility in adapting to the flow of conversation and the nature of information being sought starting with close question provides a structured framework for initial inquiry while transitioning to open question allows for a deeper exploration and encourage the respondent to share insights and perspective more freely. In summary, funnel question serves as a valuable technique for uncovering detailed information, fostering engagement and facilitating uh, problem solving in various communication contexts. Funnel questions are good for First is finding out more detail about a specific point, like tell me more about option two. And second is gaining the interest or increasing the confidence of the person you are speaking with. Like have you used the IT help box or did it solve your problem or what was the attitude of the person who took your call. Third technique is probing questions. Probing questions plays a crucial uh, role in uncovering deeper insights, clarifying information and it's investigating underlying issue. Here, why they are valuable. First is clarification and understanding. Probing questions help ensure clarity and a comprehension by encouraging individuals to provide specific details or examples. By asking for further explanation or examples, 
you can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the topic or situation at hand reducing ambiguity and potential misunderstanding second point is identifying root causes probing questions particularly those unique techniques like the five eyes enable you to delve beneath surface level explanation to identifying the underlying cause or motivations behind a problem or statement by repeatedly asking why in the response to each answer you can uncover a deeper layer of information and pinpoint the root cause of an issue third is verifying information probing questions are also useful for verifying the accuracy or validity of information provided by asking the evidence or clarification you can ensure that statement are supported by the fact or data rather than assumptions or speculation fourth is encouraging transparency in situation where individuals may reluctant to share certain information probing questions can can help encourage transparency and honesty by gently probing for additional details or insights you create a safe and supportive environment where individual feel more comfortable sharing their perspective concerns or experiences probing questions are good for drawing information out of people who are trying to avoid telling you something and gaining clarification to ensure that you have the whole story that you have that you understand it thoroughly so overall probing questions are an essential tool for effective communication enabling you to gain deeper insights clarify information identify root causes and foster transparency in dialogue next is leading question leading question can be persuasive communication tool but they come with ethical consideration here why they are used and their implications first is influential responses leading question are designed to guide respondent towards a particular answer or viewpoint by framing question in suggestive manner or presenting assumptions the question attempts to influence the respondent perspective or decision making process second point is encouraging and encouraging agreement leading question often incorporate elements that encourage agreement or compliance such as phrasing statement in a way that prompts the respondent to affirm or concur by appealing to social norms or personal opinions the questioner seeks to create a sense of consensus of alignment with their own position third is limiting choice leading questions may subtly restrict the range of options available to the respondent thereby influencing their decision making process by presenting choices in a manner that favors certain outcomes or excludes alternate possibilities the questioner shapes the respondent's perceived range of viable options fourth is ethical consideration while leading questions can be effective in achieving specific objective they raise ethical concern related to transparency autonomy and informed consent leading questions are good for first is closing a sale like if that answers all of your questions shall we agree on a price and second is getting the answer you want but leaving the other person feeling that they haven't got the choice in summary leading question can be persuasive tool for guiding conversation and influencing responses but they should be employed with caution and integrity next is rhetorical question rhetorical question indeed serves as persuasive device rather than genuine inquiries and they can be quite effective in engaging listener and shaping their perceptions so first is engagement rhetorical question draw the listener's attention and encourage active participation in the conversation by posing a question that doesn't require a verbal response the speaker prompts the listener to mentally engage with the topic and consider their own perspective or interpretation second is agreement and affirmation rhetorical question are crafted to lead the listener towards a specific conclusion or viewpoint often align, aligning with the speaker's own position by phrasing statements as question the speaker subtly encourages the listener to agree or affirm the implied assertion third is enhance impact by stringing together a series of rhetorical question the speaker amplifies the rhetorical effect and intensifies the persuasive appeal each successive question build upon the preceding ones reinforcing the desired message and strengthening the listener's inclination to agree or comply rhetorical questions are good for engaging the listener and getting people to agree with your viewpoint in summary rhetorical questions are a powerful communication tool for engaging listeners eliciting agreement and conveying persuasive message in a subtle and compelling manner thanks for watching if you like this video do share and subscribe